Carly, Victorious, uh, Life with Boys, Mr. Young, all these shows have become established on YTV. They're originally produced by YTV, and some have been produced by Nickelodeon Association uh, with YTV. So, um, you know, that's, that's what Big Fun Weeknights has become familiarized with. This is kind of a new feel uh, that's being brought to YTV's Big Fun uh, Weeknights lineup, so it's something uh, to really look forward to. And it joins the Haunting Hour, which is going to be a show that's either going to be a one-hour special every Monday, Monday through Thursday, or have back to back episodes from Tuesday to Friday with the one hour special airing every Monday with brand new episodes of The Haunting Hour. It's a series that focuses on different teens who are caught up in within debacles and scary situations with different cast members for every different episode. So it kind of puts me in mind of shows like Are You Afraid of the Dark and Goosebumps. So that's something to look forward to along with uh, My Babysitters of Empire as the shows will air simultaneously as part of the big fun weeknights lineup. So you kind of got to give uh, YTV the benefit of the doubt and say they have done something uh, phenomenal for older youth audiences and now definitely viewers discretion is advised. Now if you haven't seen any of the previews for shows like My Babysitters of Vampire or The Haunting Hour you can go to our Facebook page at HGW Entertainment on our Twitter at Jonathan Clark one and if I find interviews with the cast members of My Babysitters of Vampire I will throw them up for you on our Facebook page and on our Twitter at Jonathan Clark one amongst our tweet archives because it is a great show and it's the first of its kind in my opinion. I wouldn't, I wouldn't wouldn't be surprised at all if we saw a kind of a trend uh, develop from this series and other series would try to follow uh, in its footsteps. For me, I remember when Teletoon uh, first started promoting the movie and the TV series, which is spun off of the original movie, and how much promotion Teletoon uh, put behind it. For me, I can remember watching Teletoon far back as the 1990s uh, when they f first had animated series being the talk of Teletoon, and now uh, they're kind of trying to transist from being just animated into both animated and live action series series, and I think this uh, series is probably the first of its kind. We haven't seen anything quite like this uh, in a while, but again, it kind of coincides with shows like uh, Twilight, the movie series, of course, the five movie series, uh, The Vampire Diaries, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Teen Wolf, it kind of coincides and fits within that category. And if you haven't seen this new series, Bitten, on Space Saturday nights at uh, 10 Eastern time, uh, it's a great, I believe it's between 9 and 10 Eastern, this one airs. Bitten is a series that focuses on werewolves with cast members that have the same names of the cast members of the Vampire Diaries. It airs on space between 9 and 10 Eastern Time every Saturday with brand new episodes. The series is shot in Toronto, Canada. There are so many great series that focus on the same kind of thing. Uh, but I think in, a, in the long run, fans are going to start describing these series as series that are definitely being overkilled and shoved in our face a little bit too much. There's just something with this vampire werewolf uh, teen trend that kind of irritates me sometimes. But I think this My Babysitter's a Vampire series, which is spun off of the original movie starring Vanessa Morgan and Matthew Knight, uh, who are great actors and actors. A very funny show uh, is going to be great. One of the biggest reasons why I see this show getting over uh, as much as what I predict it's going to get over is because of the humanity that is affiliated with the show and how funny uh, these cast members are. Uh, I really enjoy the uh, hilarity that is incorporated with this series because without it, uh, I wouldn't see this series getting over as much as what I'm predicting it to. So with the uh, you know sense of humor that the cast members and the writers have uh, with this series, uh, I think it's going to really do a great job with the youth audience and it's going to really get over. Without that humility, uh, I don't think the series would get over as much. I got a lot of funny spots uh, in the original movie, uh, My Babysitter's a Vampire, where they reference garlic bread, drinking aftershave. Uh, there were so many funny moments, so many funny spots uh, that were gotten in there. I didn't really appreciate the reference of drinking aftershave, especially when they were appealing to an older youth audience, and some young uh, audience members may have been tuning into that. Hopefully they'll stray away from that. Uh, but I did catch a lot of funny spots, as far from that one spot that I really didn't agree with, uh, that were incorporated with this movie. So if there's one contributing factor uh, that will get this movie over, it's got to be the uh, sense of humor that the uh, team that are writing this series have put forth uh, for this series, because you don't quite kind of get that with a series like The Vampire Dies, which focuses on a lot of brutality and a lot of serious issues, or a series like Teen Wolf that kind of focuses on the same thing. They were big hits for TV networks like MTV, uh, The CW, Much Music here in Canada, but they focused a little bit too much on serious issues issues and definitely targeted an older audience, but this series is going to target both a young audience and a younger, an older uh, youth audience. It ranges
changes uh, in age demographics. So you can't really put one specific age demographic on this series. Now I cut a lot of the previews for some of the up and coming episodes that fans of YTV are going to be seeing for the first time ever. There's an episode where Benny will try to resurrect uh, his girlfriend's dog to impress her. There's also another episode where Erica and Sarah join the cheerleading squad for a look at some upcoming episodes of My Babysitter's of Empire. And based off of those previews for some of those series, can you imagine what future episodes of My Babysitter's uh, Vampire are going to detail? There's going to be a lot of detail thrown into this series. Now one thing that I did catch is that the graphics are pretty awesome for a series that targets an older youth audience and some young audience members. The detail uh, is pretty awesome. I wasn't expecting expecting that and I wasn't expecting as detailed of a script for a series that appeals to a younger youth audience and an older youth audience more especially the detail uh, for this series is awesome and that's one thing you kind of got to go ahead and give the series the benefit of the doubt for. The script wasn't as detailed as what it is speaking about 200 year old cults uh, having visions, uh, just the history of the town that's incorporated into the script to kind of give you a feel uh, for the movie and the series. Uh, if not for the detail, this series also probably wouldn't be getting over. So they have two contributing factors in this series that other series that kind of fall in the same category didn't have going for it. They have a great uh, cast, uh, both great actors and actresses coming together for this. They have a sense of humor and they have a lot of detail in the script to give you uh, kind of a background on the characters that are in this series uh, for people who are going to be watching it for the first time ever. So really three big contributing factors, three really big X factors uh, in this movie. Again, you have a great cast that have a lot of great chemistry between actors and actresses and you of course become familiarized with these cast members from other shows they have been affiliated with over the years. Very different concepts uh, coming from them and it's kind of a challenge for them uh, to bring the uh, darker sides of their uh, personalities out uh, in this cast. You have a great uh, sense of humor from both the cast and the writers and you have a lot of detail in the script so there are a lot of things that this series has going for it. And I want your opinion on this series for those of you who have probably seen it on Teletoon because as I previously mentioned here on the show it's originally being produced by Teletoon and it's been aired on Teletoon and for those of you who, have, or who are going to be checking this series out uh, for the first time ever we invite you to uh, give a short opinion on this series and how you think it's going to do uh, with ratings. I predict really high ratings for YTV because of this series and I predict it being one of the favorite series of a lot of kids at the, at the Kids Choice Awards in 2015. I predict it to be taking home a lot of awards because of it airing for the first time ever on YTV. The only question I have is why are YTV, and I'm speaking to YTV directly here in this week's video blog, why are YTV only picking it up now. Is it because it was only just produced by Teletoon and it wasn't produced by Nickelodeon? Is this why uh, they're only picking it up now? Because they kind of had to review it and they had to see if it was for a younger youth audience or an older youth audience or both combined. I think it's going to benefit. YTV are going to get high ratings from this just as they've gotten from iCarly and Victorious if not higher uh, ratings and I hope they keep it. One thing that I can't stress enough is I hope they keep it on a nightly basis at least from Monday through Thursday like they had with shows like iCarly and Victorious in earlier years and I hope they keep it in prime time because what it comes down to is the prime time consistency of a series like this. That is what will generate the uh, high ratings and that is what will get this show the great reviews and if you've heard any of the interviews from some of the cast members I first heard about this series actually from a YTV magazine that I was subscribed to and I caught the article in a subscription magazine uh, where YTV were talking about it and they gave it such a great review and I said to myself you know I got to talk about this show but I kept putting it off putting it off putting it off week after week and I'm finally getting around to talking about it so if you're wondering how I discovered my babysitters of vampire that's how I did it I actually caught it in a magazine article that I was subscribed to a YTV magazine and I've been putting it off for months and months and months on end to talking about it I'm only getting around to it now so I kind of do uh, apologize for it but the one thing this series is going to secede from is if it remains in prime time and it has consistency. We don't want to see this series come to YTV and with a month of it airing and seeing several episodes it's taken off here. An example of that that I can use is Wendell and Vinny starring Jerry Trainer. It had a great cast, it had a great plot, it aired for a number of months and then it disappeared on YTV's lineup and it was replaced by shows like Sam and Cat, The Thundermans and The Haunted Hathaways. It kind of was there one minute and it was gone the next and it really disappointed me because Jerry Trainer had a chemistry 
with those cast members unlike any other show that he'd been involved with, including iCurly. It was kind of there and gone the next minute. And I think that this series I could fall into the same category if not promoted enough. I hope we get a lot of promotion for this, and I hope we see a lot of consistency with uh, my baby series of Empire because without that, uh, the show pretty much isn't guaranteed anything. But if you give it a consistent hearing time in uh, prime time, as part of the big fun weeknights lineup, and this show has nothing but a success ahead for it. And the actors and actresses, especially the actress Vanessa Morgan, who I'm becoming a fan of quicker than I probably have become a fan of anyone uh, in entertainment because of the cast that they have for this series. This series is pretty much guaranteed a whole lot of success. So we do invite you to join the conversation on our Facebook page at HGW Entertainment to follow our show on Twitter at Jonathan Clark one and one. On YouTube at Jonathan Clark 22 Give us your comments and feedback and tell us what you want to get out of this series for the first time ever. My Babysitter's Vampire is coming to YTV's big fun weeknights lineup joining shows like Sam and Cat, The Haunted Hathaways, The Thundermans, Mr. Young, and Life with Boys for the first time ever. YTV fans have something to talk about on social media. I know social media, especially YTV's Facebook page and YTV's Twitter have been uh, covering this a lot and there's been a lot of conversation about it. YTV fans have a lot to talk about and a lot to be excited for as My Babysitter's a Vampire joins a phenomenal lineup of TV shows in prime time as part of big fun weeknights for the first time ever. Tell us what you think of it. Catch the preview for the series on our Facebook page at HGW Entertainment on our Twitter at Jonathan Clark one and tell us what you're looking forward to the most about My Babysitter's a Vampire coming to YTV's big fun weeknights lineup for the first time ever. And when we come back from this brief commercial break, I'll have multi-platinum recording artist Pitbull here for you and one of his latest. It's called Wild Love. I'll have it for you when we come back. With that being said, as the host of this show, for our fans listening to this broadcast on our Facebook and Twitter, this is genuine coming from me. I hope you had a great spring break, and I really do mean that with how many hits I got for the review of Radio Rebel back in 2012 on spring break. Hopefully I'll get even more for the review of My Babysitter's a Vampire on our YouTube channel at Jonathan Clark 22 I invite you to share this video with your friends if you come across it while browsing through videos on YouTube. All you have to do is hit the Share This Video button and click on Facebook or Twitter and get the views up for this video on my babysitter's a vampire for the first time ever on our YouTube channel at Jonathan Clark 22 So I really do hope you had a great spring break. The only thing left for me to do is to go find some aftershave and drink it. I can't believe I just said that. Pitbull and Wild Love is coming up next. When something takes